my fangirl ass is finally on the Nalini party train. Nope! It wasn't a Psy Changeling novel that popped my author cherry. No, no. Instead, it was a pseudo standalone that snatched my ass into fantasy land. This reverse Beauty and the Beast story wrecked me up good. Oh, did I mention it has a heroine to the rescue? Because it has a heroine to the rescue! Lily's evil daddy stole the hero's realm and cursed him to be an amnesiac undertaker. Determined to right that wrong, Chick goes to the underworld to save Micah. Our girl wants to put grumpy hero booty back on his rightful throne. And y'all, I gotta say, Miss Lilypad is my dream girl. This baby slays. If I order you to leave, what will you do? Hit you with a stick. <laughs> that word snatched me into Lily's fan club. Sure, the words are amazeballs and epic but they're also pretty darn impressive. That's cause this chick has put up with more shit than a septic tank. I mean, for starters, her crone looks have put her through hell. She's painfully bullied for her hook nose, hair like straw, and her limp. But surprise, those emotional scars are cupcakes compared to her physical ones. Because sadly, Lily is an abuse survivor. All her life, she's been victimized by her blood mage daddy. The pup suffering had me crying my eyes out by page 20. Page 20! I mean, as a little girl, she had to watch her pet bunny get murdered. A pet bunny, okay, okay. I need to go stab a fictional warlock, who's with me? And yet, in spite of all that, Lily is strong. Not because she's endured pain, but because she doesn't let pain define her. Her honor, compassion, and morality save her. Even as she goes on a noble suicide mission, Chick pops into Micah's realm to restore his memories and his identity. But afterward, she's gotta sacrifice herself to kill her evil daddy. The spell to restore Micah's realm means her life has to go bye-bye. Uh, which makes Miss Badass falling in love with Mr. Hades Beta Alpha Booty kind of a problem, but pfft, who the hell could blame the woman? Her precious beast ain't beastly. Well, okay, yeah, the curse occasionally makes the dude go all creature feature, and he does put Lily in the dungeon on their first night, but Micah's not a giant ball of asshat rage. The dude's fierce, protective, intense, then, well, a virgin. A virgin hero. Be still my goddamn ovaries. I promise I'm not tokenizing him. It's not just his virginity that made me go gaga over the dude. This Maxi Mofo had no filter and I loved it. Our demon king is so direct with his attraction. The man articulates his desire in a way that was poetically hard. I'm the lord of the black castle. My word is law. Don't forget to think about our kisses. I'll look up your taste come sunset. <laughs> I'm gonna die! Micah is so innocently honest. Like, I ain't gonna give you context cause I'm a book tease, but I want more words. That's the hottest hero sentence that ever would in. Dude says some of the naughtiest, cleanest bed talk I have ever read. And I read 543 romance novels, guys. I'm an expert. That means you can trust a bitch that those words were hot. This OTP's internal heat is made more profound by how broken both are. Their raw, shared pain actually soothes one another. Yes, Lily returns Micah's memories and identity and loves him, thereby literally saving him. But the man's love and his home in return rescues Lily. Black Castle is the first place this woman has ever experienced family. Her discovery of a safe place and her cis mance with Jissa are her salvation and her liberation, not just the hero love. I love hero love, but I like it when there are other factors that rescue the heroine from her circumstance. 
You guys don't understand. This book took my soul to human. Its first two arcs are mostly Lily chilling at the castle, helping Micah regain his memory. And hell to the dub, those are obviously my faves. Internal conflict, character dynamic, feels. That's crack. But the last arc was a bit meh for me. That said, while it's not my favorite, it's still pretty darn epic. Our OTP set off on a road trip of monsters and murder to go kill the big bad. There's goblins, dragons, magic fight fights, and flesh-eating plants. And while I wasn't as invested in all that, you can blame my taste and not the writing. Questy battle stuff takes up about the last 58 pages, but it is not a slog to read. There was quick pacing and action-packed drama, and holy shit, Nalini is a goddess. Yeah, she gave us giant murderous spiders with razor blades for legs and teeth, but she also gave us a damaged but unbroken heroine who's the hero all along. And our boy is so in love with that girl that I pooped hearts. His epic emo stunts gutted me. Like, hello, the bath scene. Our confused by feelings big warrior dude begs Lily to let him untangle her hair. That moment was so sexually charged with emotions and hot that I done died. But it's like a good kind of death. Like, you know, the little death. <laughs> Oh god, why do I make everything dirty? The point is, yes, I loved getting a hero who says what's on his mind, but that's not what sold me on the book. At the end of the day, Lily is the one that jumped off the page, grabbed me by my shirt front, and dragged me into that book. The gal owned me. I love her, and you can't convince me she ain't real. Never in my whole damn life have I read a book and then been disappointed by the fact that it's not a series. Okay, yes, it is a series, but it's like each individual book is written by a different author. I don't want different authors. I want this to be Nalini's. But I'm definitely going to be reading the series that everybody and their dead third, fourth cousin twice removed has read. Psy Changeling? Is, is, that, is that what it is? And I have a question for you, my lovely person that's staring at me in the future. I know her series has tons of books, but I don't really care about reading in order. And I'm really hoping the Psy Changeling books aren't ones that you need to read in order. Because I'm impatient and I want the books that I want when I want them. But am I doing myself a disservice by not reading them in order? And even if I am, what books are your favorites? Because obviously I'm probably going to skip to those anyway. I can't help it, guys. I like what I like. Is my dry shampoo showing through? I think it is. <laughs> oh God. Good job, Jackie. You're a dumbass. <laughs> well, just consider it a bonus for me trying to be extra hygienic for you. 20, 28, 27, no, 28. 28, 28 years old and I still can't like take care of my basic appearance. Yeah.